Hi, music artists. I just got done interviewing my friend Kate. Um, she's an amazing artist and she does portraits and that's going to be our theme for this week is portraits. So for the next um, couple of days, you're gonna be seeing me send you resources, do a live about portraits. Portraits are when you draw pictures of people, a self portraits when you draw yourself. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the interview with her. Bye. All right, um, so Kate, uh, um, I just kind of wanted to ask you, um, where did you go to school and, um, and, and, uh, and what did you study when you were in school? So I was in school for a long time. I have a bachelor's and a master's degree. Um, I went to the University of Texas at Arlington for my bachelor's and I received a BFA with a concentration in drawing. And then I moved to California to attend Laguna College of Art and Design for my master's. And that is just a um, MFA with a concentration in painting. Okay, so what made you choose drawing in, in your undergrad and then uh, mm -hmm. painting in your um, grad school? So I was more, I've always been more comfortable with drawing. And so I went with that uh, for my bachelor's just because it was something that, um, I was more comfortable with and then in my master's program I wanted to branch out and do something a little more challenging for me. Awesome. Um, how did you know how did you know that art was for you? Like when, the art was for me? Yeah. When did... So that's a good question. Um, Art just always, it was one of those things that came naturally to me. It was one of those just sort of natural inclinations. And um, when I was a kid, I used to color and paint and draw all the time. Um, and it was just one of those natural interests for me. Hey, um, I put my things in order. So I'm trying to, um, let's see. Uh, what was art school like? <laughs> art school was great. Um, I loved it. Uh, it's challenging. It's definitely not, um, you know, just uh, an easy degree, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, we would spend late nights up at the studio painting, uh, drinking lots of coffee, and having late night dance parties when you feel like you're about to fall asleep. I remember those nights. Um, <laughs> um, I have a few questions. One question was from Ms. Larson, who's a first grade teacher, and she asked, um, what is the hardest part about drawing a portrait? There are a lot of hard parts about drawing a portrait. <laughs> um, I think the most challenging is being able to um, get someone's features Actually, it's more so getting someone's personality because even if you are able to draw features accurately, it still might not quite look like that person because people sort of have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like people, imperfections. Yeah, and, and expressions and things like that. Certain people hold their heads certain ways, talk with their hands, or there's a uh, body language that goes into a portrait when you're trying to portray someone accurately as they are. And even if you have everything drawn or painted perfectly, if it if the person has their hair done a different way or they're not quite in the a normal position for them, it's it's not going to look like that person. Um, that kind of segues into my next question. What is your process when doing a portrait? So um, in school, I drew and painted a lot from life, where you're sitting in front of your model and drawing and painting while they are there in front of you. Now that uh, I'm out of school and I don't have access to models, um, I take photographs and so I uh, do a drawing first like a light sketch and get all of my proportions lined up and then I will do an underpainting if I'm painting and so that's where you tone your whole canvas and you'll paint usually 
in like a brown neutral sort of color and you'll get all of your highlights and your shadows and all of your drawing elements in. And then I will go in with the colored paint and fill in as, as you see things. I, 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 they're beautiful. You're, I, I picked you first because it was like, Kate is one of my favorite artists and I went to school with her. So I kind of have an advantage and <laughs> that's really and sweet. I know. And I've also been a subject of one of your paintings. Yes. And so I was, and I remember being completely surprised by it. <laughs> I think I walked into a gallery and I was like, wait a minute. Why am I on the wall? <laughs> but it was, I was totally flattered. It was awesome. Um, but, um, uh, a quick question about some of your images. Um, I'm going to share my screen real quick and talk about some of those. If that's okay. Technology is so fun. Um, this image right here with the teacups on their head. I have a few questions. Um, one is most of your paintings seem to be women. Is there a reason because of that? <laughs> Excuse me. I don't have coronavirus. I have allergies. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, so there's a saying, write what you know, and for me, I paint what I know. So a lot of my paintings are autobiographical. And so I paint things that reference um, things that I go through as a woman. And so it just makes sense that uh, my subject matter, therefore, would be women. Okay, and then my second one is, they all seem to have something on their head. <laughs> Is that, yes. uh, is there something else going on with that? Yes, so that is also a theme. Um, I like to depict women with um, accoutre accoutrements or uh, objects that symbolize um, what women go through. And so I've chosen things like teacups and quilts and flowers that are, um, standard symbols for womanhood. They're supposed to be beautiful, delicate, um, homemakers, just very, the very traditional sense of what a woman should be. And I have my subject matter, usually the women are balancing those objects on their head because uh, in contemporary culture, it's like we are trying to balance these traditional ideas of what we are supposed to be how we are supposed to act. And uh, yeah. They're beautiful. And um, I, I, I just wanted those to come from you so that they understand what, where, where an artist comes from when they start to develop their, um, their ideas of who they are and what they want to share with the world. Um, let me turn that off real quick. Um, my next thing is, um, these are kind of personal questions. Um, uh, are there times when you doubt yourself and how do you get through it? Every day. I feel like that's just part of an artist's journey. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the biggest thing is, is you just keep going. My paintings always, hands down, go through an ugly stage. And I like to take pictures of my paintings as I go through them mm -hmm. so that when I move on to a new painting and it is in that ugly stage, I can go back to a finished one and remember that they all seem hopeless at some point. I think it too, like, I don't know, for me, it's like when you, you're working on a piece, you're so engrossed in the minor details that like, like you start to just go, oh, it's just horrible. And then somebody else will walk by and go, that's so amazing. And you're like, and all you could see is the tiny mistakes that you're making, you know? Right. I'm definitely my own worst critic. Like mm -hmm. I look at my paintings and... I think, oh man, I should have done this differently. Oh, look at that weird little thing that's happening there. Mm -hmm. and whereas, you know, nobody else is gonna see that. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then let's see, a couple more. If you weren't an artist, what would you be doing? Hmm. I always wanted to be an archeologist. I love history. I love, um, uh, like culture and um, in my traveling I've loved going and seeing uh, like uh, historical sites old homes uh, pueblos in um, Colorado I love learning about past cultures and past history I find it very interesting 
Okay. And then any advice you would give a young artist? Keep making art. Don't stop. You will get discouraged and don't let that get the best of you. Keep going and do amazing things and keep entering art shows. Um, I know that Again, you're going to get discouraged at points. I have been told no, and this isn't good enough so many more times than I have been told, yes, this is great. Mm -hmm. um, but those times when you are told, yes, this is great, and are, you know it does work out, those are the times that you are working for. Mm -hmm. And never let no <laughs> get the better of you and never let any kind of discouragement get the better of you. Keep making art um, because if you enjoy it, that's really what's most important. I, I totally agree. Um, well, Kate, that's, a, that's it. That's like my quick little interview. And that was easy. <laughs> but I really appreciate you doing this for me and my kids and you know, yeah, we're absolutely. up now and so we still need, we need to keep our spirits high and, and keep making things. Right? I know. This is so, such a strange time. <laughs> it is. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go and get to that beautiful little baby boy. Okay? All right. Thanks. All right, bye. <laughs> bye.